My underwear He's were just so far up my ass. That was not comfortable. What are you, are you wearing a thong? Yeah. It was like trying to dig its way to China. I don't know what. I can't wear thongs anymore. Why? They go up my ass. Cause my, I think it's because my ass is so big. No, I guess that would make sense. Hey, yeah, because yeah. this part. Your butt cheeks move around a lot, probably works it way up yeah. there. <laughs> I know, it's probably TMI, but I usually totally don't wear underwear. I usually don't either, but okay, good. I, I don't think well, you usually thing. don't wear underwear? Used to. I know. But I, I get wet randomly all throughout the day. See, oh, and so. I don't ever since Not I've just had now, kids. but oh, okay, well, I haven't had any, so maybe. Yeah, that's do you, are you more or less now that you haven't had, that you've had a kid? She's still healing, so. Oh, that's mm. true. I mean, if I wear a dress or a skirt, mm, I'd say I'm a little more. more. Shorts. A little more. So, no, mm -hmm. after the baby? Yeah. Hiccups! Hiccups. Say you listen, but you miss it. Welcome to another episode of Yeah, No, I Know. But before we get started, a little disclaimer. Nothing in this podcast is being claimed as fact. Most everything discussed here are our own individual, personal opinions, beliefs, and experiences. We encourage you to always do your own research and form your own opinions. Nothing one person says on this podcast goes for everyone here. Each individual speaking is speaking only for themselves and no one else on the podcast. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started. Welcome back. Happy Thanksgiving or whatever you guys celebrate. Um, so I think we're just going to kind of dig right into it. We have, yeah. it's been a crazy couple years. A lot of people haven't been able to be with family and celebrate with family. Yeah. Uh, and this year, I'm pretty sure most of us are going to. So you guys got any plans? Um, I haven't seen my family for the past two years for Thanksgiving, and this year is no different. Mm. Um, very close family. We will be getting together. Um, but I, last year, we spent it in uh, Nashville, actually, mm, nice. and cooked because we didn't have a kitchen in our house still. Yeah. Or no. Did we? It was kind of being ripped out, I think. Um, but yeah. Was so, it because of COVID that you hadn't seen your family in two years? Yeah. They've, mm. they've all been very, very cautious with my grandma and everything, so we haven't. I think they did last year. They sat outside, maybe. Um, but we were we were just already in Nashville, so my parents came out there. Um, so yeah, this year I don't know, but like we do have old traditions that I love. Like growing up, we played like bingo every mm -hmm. single Thanksgiving. Like my parents lived in Santa Barbara, so we would drive our motorhome up there and like all have our fun bat like not basketball, baseball games and soccer games and all that fun stuff. And we would all play think um, bingo, and there would all always be like prizes and stuff. That's all the fun. cousins. Yeah, yeah. we play cards. Yeah. Yeah, like gambling good. for money, real yeah. money. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. Actually, we we won real money, but it was like five dollars yes. was the first prize, you know. <laughs> so um, Jensen, Jensen's wants... here with us today, and um, I did. We forgot to mention real quick that if you're watching on YouTube, we're also on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and apparently we're on iTunes too. I saw that in the back end of our little. Oh, thing that people thanks, listen there. So cool. I guess we're there too. Um, and if you're listening on one of those audio ones, then we're also on YouTube. And Jensen's here with us, so you might hear a little baby in the background. If you don't know who Jensen is, you missed one of our previous episodes, which I'll link for you in the description box below. And My Jen, chatty little son. Your hair. We're all wearing bow extensions. Um, I'll have to link you guys too. Yeah. <laughs> So what about you? Yes. What, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Like, do you have any traditions? How has it been the last couple years? Oh yeah, I love Thanksgiving. That's my favorite holiday. <laughs> I feel like you're either a Christmas person or a Thanksgiving person. I'm a Christmas person. Dude, I celebrate all, I, I roll them all into one in the sense that like I literally from the beginning of October, I celebrate fall mm -hmm. and like a little bit of Halloween. I don't do real Halloween decorations, it's more fall. Yeah. And then I'm celebrating Thanksgiving and Christmas literally all at the same time and watching all of those movies and everything. Yeah. yeah. Immediately I, after Halloween, or Halloween, I decorate for Christmas. Oh, you're one of those people. I knew I was going to get it. It's I common. know. It drives me nuts. Uh -huh. Like, I went into Marshall's the other day. It's right now, as we're filming, Halloween hasn't happened yet. And I went in, and there was already Christmas decorations. Yeah. And it drives yeah. me, That's me I'm bonkers. Like, I'm like, no, there is a holiday in between the two of them. Yeah. It goes Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Not Halloween, Christmas. I could skip <laughs> Halloween. Yeah, I hosted Thanksgiving once at my house in Carlsbad, and I had these, like, really, bless you, I 
had these really cool, like they were like little lanterns with little cardinals inside and glitter would swirl about and they lit up. Like cardinals? Like the bird. Like oh, a cardinal. Gotcha. Like a I think they're red, right? A red yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um bless you. <laughs> and so I had those on all the tables, like all decorated cute with like rosemary and like twine and stuff, and like everyone loved them, but that was like more of a Christmas decoration. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I mix them all together for Thanksgiving. Yeah. But so oh, I love Thanksgiving. So you don't decorate for Christmas until when? Oh, until after Thanksgiving. And then you take I'm all not, the Thanksgiving some, stuff? Some people are like, they'll do it like on Black oh. Friday, like the day after. Um, I'll usually give it like a week or so. I don't know. Last year, I like barely got my Christmas tree. I think like the Saturday before Christmas. We decorated here though. Oh, we did. It was our first Christmas here. Yeah. Aww. We moved in Together. here in November. Aww. Yeah, in so, the salon. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, um, I don't know. There's something about Halloween. Uh, here's the thing. The decorations are up for such a little amount of time, and there's so much that you put into Christmas decorations. I'm like, I want to enjoy it for as long as I can. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, and I forgot. You have your um, Thanksgiving sweater on. Yes. yes. I'm So, I'm a big, I'm, I'm the big Thanksgiving girl. <laughs> like, I normally, they made me change, like, three times. <laughs> Wait, I didn't give a shit. <laughs> okay, no, like, I was like, Kristen, you keep that. Thank you. <laughs> she had a okay. mustard sweater on that was, like, so cute. It was like, so yeah. cute. I but I'm big on, like, like the holidays. I don't know. Maybe it's, like, my dream in life is, like, to be a Southern belle. So I think it's kind of, like, a Southern thing. Like, you you dress up for the holidays. You look nice. Thanksgiving, like, you have, you know, like, cute boots and, like, a comfy sweater on. And, you, you know. You have a big yeah. family, too. I have a huge so family. So I think that's a big part of it where the my family is all up north. So my big party or celebration is Christmas mm-hmm. for Thanksgiving it's like just like a normal Sunday night with my mom my dad and mm-hmm. me yeah. <laughs> and my yeah. kids so yeah, maybe that's, that's why it doesn't feel super festive that makes sense like aunts and uncles that lived in other states would either come for Thanksgiving or Christmas like it was too much traveling but then right. everyone that's local in San Diego would all get together mm-hmm. so well, yeah and you're in, you're kind of an only child too like me like you only have step or half brothers and sisters right so that's why mm. maybe Thanksgiving isn't big enough for the whole family yeah yeah between my mom and my stepdad, there's six of us kids. Right. So what does your Thanksgiving day look like? Like, when do you oh. start eating? When do you start cooking? Yeah, let us know. Okay, to, so. Like, give it all to us. <laughs> so we'll you don't, you don't put your thing. cute Thanksgiving sweater on early because you got to cook. So I would always get up with my mom and... My sister will pour us mimosas. Oh, and, like, okay, we're there. Mimosa house, house, okay? <laughs> please, please. It's my family do. They do the same stuff. Yeah, so together. start with mimosas. I have, like, this little special apron that my mom got me, and I put the apron on, and, like, I'm, like, her sous chef. And Aww. so, like, it's her and I. Usually we brine the turkey, like, the night before, and, you know, you got, like, the 24 hours of brining, and then you got to get it in the turkey. <laughs> Not like that. you got to get the turkey put in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> gotta shove it in there. <laughs> yeah, stuff it said. real good. Um, you that's know, what, early in the said? morning. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or she said. She there said. you go. Yeah. So once it, once the turkey's in, then you start like prepping all of the other you know side dishes. You've got so, you, I mean, you guys know the typical like Thanksgiving traditional foods. Um, our family, one thing we're big on is we our tradition is um stuffed mushrooms <gasps> and i'm not kidding you no okay so you say okay everyone listen to this love them jenna do you like mushrooms no. okay i'm gonna have her try them this year and you will all hear her response my husband hates mushrooms will not eat them i was like i guarantee you you're gonna love my mom's stuffed mushrooms he will pound like 20 of them like on Thanksgiving, everyone mushrooms. who hates mushrooms will love these and eat them. I'm, yeah. They're like, what's mm. in them? Because I have a mushroom recipe that I have. Oh, is it secret? Yeah, is it fucking secret. It's... I'll tell you guys what mine is. <laughs> of course, <laughs> my mom. It's my mom. It She's big on like tradition and keeping family recipes and things is like that. Is it a family that. recipe? She made yeah, it it's a family recipe. Okay, I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> They're really good. They're, you have to. She let me give the recipe to my best friend who is like family and then to my sister-in-law because she married into the family and like yeah. in my entire 30 years she has allowed me to give it to two people like but she, we're like oh, technically well. aunts I mean <laughs> you know I'm perfectly fine with my stuffed mushroom recipe but that is pretty cool like Jensen them. agrees yeah. yeah you're gonna learn how we'll to make see. them huh okay so I'm gonna grab them oh yeah yeah you can come join us 
So no, we're talking about th- family Thanksgiving. Yeah, come join us. So you guys do. So when you start eating, like, do you? Some people eat so freaking early, like at two oh, p.m. Some people that, do it later. Like, what's what's your family? That drives me nuts. I don't like the, the early. Whole, I don't like the two p.m. Me like, neither. That's um, not dinner. I do because then you eat again at like six or seven. <gasps> that's true. See, I was <gasps> gonna match Jensen, and like we were gonna wear our fall. I feel like you know, it's still kind of flow. It's it because flows. it's just a little bit of it. It's flowing. But when I said earlier, they made me change because I was in mustard. And, like, to me, that was my Thanksgiving sweater. And Well, not like, we. Me. Jenna, Jenna. I didn't I make clashed. you. I said, do what you feel comfortable in. I said, do what you feel comfortable in, but yeah. that one blends better. Yeah. It's cute. They're both cute. That's very fall sweater, too. But yeah. this is Jensen's fall outfit. I love your it. Your hair matches your little onesie. Okay, his hair Here is not does. red. It's red. <laughs> it's orange as his little jumper. Uh-huh. <laughs> It looks well, really golden. red in the it's camera. Like golden auburn, auburn, yeah, ish. Okay, we'll so when do you eat? Anyways. We eat. Uh, we night. usually like five. Oh yeah. Okay. Do you guys have any like traditional games that you play or anything like that? Or oh what? my gosh, our family tradition is whipped cream fights. <laughs> that sounds. <laughs> Whose so house is messy. that at? <laughs> yeah. It uh, just depends. My mom <laughs> always gets pissed when it's at her house, yeah. but um, I usually am the one instigating that oh, but my aunt used to be the surprised. one well back in the day my mom was the You're one the instigating youngest, right? it uh yeah, yeah the youngest you guys hiccuped i know how do you okay so you guys you thanksgiving is so big for your family what about andy what about your oh, spouse yeah. like how do you <clears throat> do you flip flop back and forth because i remember when i was married we would have to flip flop back and forth yeah and i love ryan's family but it was never as many like traditions and like how mm-hmm. your family does it and so i'd always be slightly bummed that I wasn't back in San Diego having our traditional big Thanksgiving. So how do you yeah. guys manage that? Yeah. Um, gosh, Andy and I both come from divorced families, so the holidays have always been hectic. It's like, yeah, you know, the, the Four Christmases kind of movie. Yeah. Um, so I call it musical ho- houses on the holidays. And <laughs> That's so stressful to just not be able to camp out and drink and, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so um, – you just, you know, until we said we would do it until we had kids and then we'll stay more put. But usually for Thanksgiving, it seems to be everyone does it on different days. Like my mom would always do it like on Black Friday. That was kind of our family tradition because oh, yeah. we I have step siblings who also have, you know, like they need to go see their mom and my brothers have their in-laws. And so we would always, we would try and just do it like around Thanksgiving, but still have everyone together. But I mean, ever since I was little, I mean, I'm... If I don't have at least three Thanksgivings, it's weird. <laughs> Usually four is on average yeah. with Friendsgiving and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. It's always hard, like, when you're younger and your parents are divorced because I always got asked, like, where I wanted to spend Thanksgiving. And I felt really bad, and I still feel bad because my mom always wants to spend it with me, and she doesn't really have a ton of family. Mm. Like, she does. She has sisters and stuff, but, like, she always wants to hang out with me and be with me for Thanksgiving and stuff, and I have always wanted to be at my big Thanksgiving Mm -hmm. in San Diego, and I always felt so bad because, especially as a young kid, Mm -hmm. I wanted to be around my cousins and, like, Mm -hmm. do all this stuff, and she would always want to get together, and um, so I, it was difficult, like, making the decision to, like... Mm-hmm. stay um now I can blame it on flights and stuff like that but like I do want to hang out with my mom for Thanksgiving so yeah. I've been trying to like have my dad and my stepmom and my mom all together but my mom is such a selfish bitch she doesn't <laughs> want to share me she literally is like um yeah that would be cool but like I just really want to hang out with you by myself and I'm like <laughs> oh my gosh yeah I'll get in line <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. So, um, yeah. I don't know what, what I was thinking about getting together with my mom this year for Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving has just been so weird for me the past couple of years. It has not been like it normally is. I feel like it's like ruined now. Hmm. Um, I can understand that um, because I lost my dad like three years ago. Um, oh. I don't have a dad. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. Um, okay. Notice when you're saying that, my dad, you know, he lived, um, he didn't really have a lot of like family that he was close with with and it was him and his girlfriend and so he lived out in this small small town Warner Springs and we would usually because my mom wouldn't do Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving we would drive out there and see my dad and um that's like one of the last times I saw him was on Thanksgiving and um you know I think I think that's it's a good memory though it is yeah yeah, and it's it's something to talk about too it's like the holidays suck when you've lost someone 
Yeah. Like, it's hard, and it's those, it's after you've lost someone, it's all of the firsts, like, the first birthday, the first mm-hmm. anniversary, the first Thanksgiving, the first Christmas, like, without that family member there, and I think, yeah. you know, whether, you know, it was, you lost him from COVID or, or something else, like, I feel like it's just, it's going to be so hard this year for so many people. I was about and, to say, I bet you a lot of people are in that boat where they've I mean, people lose people every day, but, like, even with COVID and stuff, I feel like Mm -hmm. a lot of people are going to be experiencing holidays different from normal just because of COVID and then the loss of loved ones from it as well. And just the flu also and, like, Mm -hmm. just old age, like, whatever. So, yeah, Yeah. I can imagine that would be really difficult to, like, go into a holiday, you know, with either no one if you're alone on the holidays or with less people than you usually do. Yeah. You know, which kind of brings me to something we wanted to chat about is like a lot of people experience like Christmas alone and like holidays alone and birthdays alone and there's of course Friendsgiving probably a lot of people do that which I think is awesome like uh, my friend Mm -hmm. Brian in Nashville uh, Brian and John they always have uh, Friendsgiving and they do like a theme like we were gonna wear really long like fur coat fake fur coats of course out to like the honky tonks like after our meal How and so cute. i ended up actually that year surprising nick at the fire station um for thanksgiving i cooked a bunch of the stuff for the station and so we did i did that instead but like friendsgiving is always a thing but like i wanted to talk about like encouraging people that are like alone for the holidays to like like you are worth it like cook that favorite meal of yours like indulge in something like bake if you like to bake and like watch movies that you love to watch and curl up on the couch and put on your little fucking festive sweater like that like (laughs) get like your thanksgiving on like you know you don't have to just be alone and bummed out like do something for yourself that you wouldn't normally do and take a bubble bath yeah. <laughs> Put your little laptop up, watch a yeah, movie. Go, exactly. like, serve somewhere, too. I yeah, feel absolutely. Like, I've done that, too. I feel like sometimes... Perspective. Yeah, when you are... Just, it's so easy to, like, feel down about yourself and your situation. And mm-hmm. when we can just get outside of that and focus on someone else and giving. And, I mean, not to be cheesy, but that's the, you know, it's Thanksgiving. It's not Thanksgiving. It's giving, you know. So if you can give, um, you know, and serve in some way, I think... It'll just, um, you know, shift your perspective and your and what your focus is on. And there's a lot of um, resources for people who don't have a lot during the holidays. Um, we have volunteered, and there's always n- a need for people to volunteer and help with serving food and pie and things like that. I did face painting at one um, okay. one year, yeah, where I painted all the little kids' faces mm-hmm. like that were there for Thanksgiving dinner, and it was, you know. Um, homeless families and you know otherwise that just couldn't afford to kind of do their own thing and they wanted to provide something fun and a good experience for their kids and um we would pass out food as well like each year we always did something a little different um but there's that's a really good point because there's so many people that want to be surrounded by people and it's Mm -hmm. there's a lot of um help needed i guess because Mm -hmm. people are doing their own things with their own families for thanksgiving and they're really short-handed um, a lot of times. Well, and if you're alone, sometimes it's hard to get up and, like, get motivated to even do something like that. And one year, my daughter and I, um, we just, like, went to Dollar Tree and got, it wasn't on Thanksgiving, it was some other holiday, but, um, we made little baggies for homeless people. And, yeah. um, haven't really gotten into it, but her <laughs> biological father is homeless. Mm-hmm. So, it is kind of a touchy thing, but we put together, like, little toothbrushes and treats and Rice Krispie treats and this and that and put them in little Ziploc baggies mm. and just drove around and handed it out to the homeless because I'm not the kind of person personally who's going to like try and find a place or you know like sign up for something and go with a bunch of people like and especially if you're you know in a that state of mind where you're not wanting to like be around people it's something you can do by yourself yeah you can and, drop off pies they always need yeah pies just drive and... around and you know hopefully the homeless people are receptive and will take it and be great oh. grateful but if not you know just keep going <laughs> keep finding be, something yeah, else be safe <laughs> don't be go safe, alone yes. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's just, there's so many different ways that you can do it. Yeah. Just because when you mentioned, like, going and finding some place, that, like, terrified me. So yeah, like, you yeah, can so do it on your own, too. There yeah, you go. Definitely. People know. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely, um, you know, there's definitely a lot of ways you can just Google things and find. And you could just drop off pies if you don't yeah. really want to, like, socialize and do that right. whole, you know, that's not for everybody. I don't think I would show up and do, actually, I did used to volunteer at the woman's shelter in downtown Los Angeles alone. I was just going to say that, yep. Um, but. Um, and you can call and just drop stuff off there, too. Yeah. Or even, like. I know that they don't like people to know who's in there, but... 
I had to go to training for that one, but yeah. there's, there's different ones. You can contact a local church or whatever. Um, but yeah, if you just want to also stay home and that's, what's going to float your boat, mm -hmm. then, you know, maybe you can invite a, a coworker over that, you know, just extend an, extend an invite. It could even be if you're going to get your favorite meal and it's Taco Bell for the evening and you're going to indulge, like buy the food for the people behind you. Oh yeah. Um, mm -hmm. or whatever. But I just like, I spent a couple holidays alone when I was like 17 or something living on my own. And like, I felt really bad for myself, but mm -hmm. in hindsight, like looking back, I should have just like cooked my favorite meal and like put on some fun movies and like, you and know, drink a bottle of wine by drink yourself. Drink a bottle of wine by myself, <laughs> you know, it, it's amazing. go to Target. Yeah. It's amazing. Like getting up and making that first move will, how it will shift your perspective. Uh, yeah. I know it's so hard to do, but like, if you just get up, go for a walk, like we've talked about, like just getting up, going for a walk and, and literally just saying out loud or in your head what you're grateful for. You're grateful that you can say. walk, that you have air in your lungs, that you're, you know, cancer free or that you're, you know, like there's so many little teeny tiny things and it will start to make you realize how, you know, gifted or um, like grateful you should be for what you have. And, yeah, yeah like, it's your mindset. Just saying. And it'll you know. benefit yourself. <laughs> right. And it sounds cheesy, but, like, the more you think about, like, I'll, I do that at night when I pray. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll say, mm -hmm. like, I'm so grateful that I have, like, this warm, comfy bed to lay in. Like, yeah. there's people that live on dirt floors. Absolutely. Or, like, cement outside. So, like, They're just fighting being grateful. for their life. Right. Yeah. Just being grateful for those things. Like, it sounds cheesy, but if you do say it and you do think about it, um, it will, you will be overcome with a happy a sense of happiness I feel yeah it works gratefulness yeah, so definitely. so speaking of going outside for a walk and doing healthy things around the holidays are you guys the kind of families that do turkey trots Wait, what is what? a turkey trot what you guys don't know what a turkey trot is <laughs> oh my gosh do What's you know what trot? a turkey trot is <laughs> I feel like yeah I'm... do y'all know what a turkey trot is because um, I don't so many cities or organizations whatever they call them turkey trots and it's like you get up and run like a 5k or whatever on oh. Thanksgiving morning huh. and people like like put turkeys on their heads and get all like festive for it and no. it's just so funny because huh. there was this meme that was about like I hope I don't marry into a family that does turkey trots and then like my <laughs> like one the of the first of Thanksgivings with Andy's family his mom was like let's all do a turkey trot I'm like <laughs> let's drink mimosas <laughs> instead yeah but granted I think we did the turkey trot we walked it and then What's we the drank point of mimosas it? I it's raised money for charity yeah okay I was usually. like there's gotta be a charity aspect tied to this because otherwise like I mean I get exercising on Thanksgiving morning but like I'll do it the day before <laughs> <laughs> I know it's I okay, eat Jensen. so much on Thanksgiving you need to think about all the things you're grateful for right now stop crying yes. you got a boobie next to your head <laughs> Yeah, you got a pair of boobs right in front of your face. I'm pretty sure he, he's pooping. He pooped himself. Oh, so. of course. He he wants to talk with us. I know. Like, he I'm wants really to be big. part of the conversation. He's, like talking yeah. to uh, he's making himself part of the conversation. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so the in-laws thing, that makes me think of something else, another element that probably a lot of people experience for the holidays, Thanksgiving, whatever, is family members and in-laws that they just don't get along with. Yes. How... Does that affect you guys? Have, have you like experienced that? Like it, it disagreements, <laughs> the smile plaster on your face. This is like I'm not allowed to talk about this. Uh, how do you talk about this? Uh, I think. Um, I mean, we kind of talked about the whole like, can we all just get along, right, Jensen? Right. Oh. He's like, I got a poopy butt. I know. Are you, I don't know if he does. Oh, do you want me? You want to go see Aunt Geneva? Come here. <laughs> Hi, butt boys. Yeah. Come here. He's gonna be famous. I want to be center of attention. Okay, keep talking. So, how do you navigate that? And have you had like, you know, disagreements? I mean, I can go first if you want to think about how you want to answer. That. <laughs> no, go for it. Um, I, for the most part, our family doesn't really have a whole lot of disagreements. Um, there are heated discussions, 
but we all love and respect each other so I have never seen any sort of like a dramatic blowout but I know and I've heard mm-hmm. from just being on social media for a period of time like hearing from you guys like talk about like how you know you've had these like you have these it's just not really a healthy environment at the end of the day because people can't keep their mouths shut and can't respect one another and so it just turns into this dramatic thing that you don't even want to go to um so like I don't know personally I would remove myself from that situation if that was an issue and do my self-indulgence Thanksgiving like we just talked about or go help um but yeah what what about you guys I mean, I know you're not, your family's not super big on Thanksgiving, but... Yeah, I only see my family usually around Christmas, so I only have to hear... Uh, yeah, we, we're not super big on disagreements, but they are, are definitely two sides, and they're both extreme. So, um... <laughs> Which you, can work if you respect one another, Yes, right? and you know, we... This isn't, this isn't Thanksgiving related, but we did have a family member pass, and it was on election day that we had their funeral. Oh. And we were very uh, nervous oh about if things were going to get brought up. And our family pulled it together, and not one thing was mentioned. And so I don't think I have a lot to complain about. But um, it's definitely, you have to navigate. And I think as long as you're being respectful, you can walk away from the day knowing that you did exactly what you needed to do. But, yeah. you know, if you feel uncomfortable or you feel like you can't handle it, then just walk away and just go celebrate somewhere else. And hopefully the family will... Be like, you know what? We'd rather be together, and they'll yeah. keep it quiet next time. Yeah, I'd, so. I'd rather be alone than put myself through like drama that I don't need. Yeah. That isn't or healthy. say something that you're gonna Just regret. To be there. Like, yeah. yeah, you don't want to say things that you can't take back either. Mm-hmm. Do you guys have like that one family member that you kind of like dread seeing on the holidays? I feel like everyone has that one. Um, there's mm. one in particular in my family that's very outspoken and kind of sticks her nose in places that they don't belong and it like doesn't concern her and like she'll speak for someone that's like older and it's just like yeah no that's really not your position to be like talking about or saying about it like she has a mouth she can speak for herself like and and just some of the opinions that get hurled out of her mouth I'm just kind of like shut the fuck up like I'm thinking (laughs) out of my head like I would never say that but I just remove myself from the situation because I don't need to go down that road. Yeah. yeah. What about you guys? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> More I, than one or just one? Um, I think on different sides of the family, I could probably pick out one in just about, you know, every side of the family. But, yeah, yeah same thing. I mean, yeah, I I just have a big family. Yeah. On I both sides, it. mine and my husband's side. We just both have big families. And when you get big families, there's bound to be big personalities. And you know what? I am a big personality, so I probably am that person for someone. They're like, <laughs> oh, God, so Brooklyn's coming. Yeah, <laughs> like, what is she going to talk about now? And once people yeah. start getting married, and like, I don't have brothers. And I mean, I do have, I just reconnected with one of my brothers not too long ago because my son moved to Washington and my brother's out there. Mm-hmm. So that was nice. But, um, my cousins have kind of always been my brothers and sisters. And, but then they you know, marry people that you don't like. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> no, but, I mean, I love my family. Like, Seems I like was, that's where you're going with it, though. <laughs> no. Um, but, Lies. Yeah, anyway. Lies and deception. I know. We'll just say we don't agree. We don't have the same views. As a person, I think they're, a good, they're good people, but, like, we yeah. just don't agree with certain things, so that makes it difficult. But as a human being, I love them. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that makes sense. So, but we just are very different. But, yeah. um, yeah, they, they marry people and then they start to take on that. But I forget where I was going with that. So, sorry. Cut. I totally, totally. No, you're good. <laughs> no, I totally, um, derailed you on that one. I'm sorry. I don't even remember what I was talking about. You were saying something about. You said something about siblings and. Certain people, people. that we don't or aren't excited to see because of big personality. So, you were saying, um, uh. Your cousins. Y- yeah, your cousins, you love them like family. Yeah, no, they're like my like brothers, family, and like sisters. brothers and sisters. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I just, I was that kid that was always excited to go to my grandparents' house. Oh, like, yeah. I loved my grandparents. Like, I, I, it was never that kind of thing. So, I, I love going to see my family. I have an amazing family, actually. But, yes, there are those few people that are very, very different. So It's just sometimes more difficult to get along with. Like, I just yeah, make sure that I'm being open and, like, willing to just kind of, like, walk away if something annoys me, you know, and not say anything. Um, it's and hard. It is really hard. It's really hard. So. It's hard because I feel like also the holidays, I don't know about your families, but 
there's a lot of wine involved on Thanksgiving. And people want things done a certain way. Yeah. Seems like, and yes, the wine. Yes. It doesn't help the, yes. the bickering or the fighting or the, you know, there's Aww. definitely been some like. Is there like a, a monarchy in your, like this is the, this is the person that makes decisions. This is, and then people. So, you know, it's funny. It's, it's my mom for sure. Mm-hmm. She's like the glue of our family and I'm the baby, but I'm the most like my mom. Mm-hmm. And so this year is going to be really different because my mom moved away. She moved from California to Arizona and everyone in my family is now like looking to me. They're like, so Brookie, mm-hmm. what are we doing? And I'm like, mm-hmm. whoa, whoa, whoa. How am I the next chain of the command? The got passed to you. <laughs> yeah. It's like starting to kind of get passed to me. So. Have you ever hosted Thanksgiving? Um, I've hosted Friendsgiving. Mm -hmm. Um, We just moved like a couple months ago and this is like the biggest place I've lived in which isn't still that big so I can't really host too much but I've always said like I cannot wait to have like to own my own home and like the biggest thing is the kitchen for me because that I'm not kid you not like when I see like a model home or something I go in there and I look at the kitchen and think about Thanksgiving okay where's the food gonna be lined up Mm -hmm. where the appetizers gonna be (laughs) how's the flow gonna be like for desserts and I think about that because I can't wait to host and my thing is like when I have a home and I got all my kiddos in there I'm hosting Thanksgiving I don't care if you're divorced or what side of the family you're on everyone can come and if you don't get along then don't come but I'm not going anywhere on Thanksgiving yeah I'm gonna sit my butt at home and drink some mimosas and cook my turkey that's the nicest part about hosting but it is stressful because everyone needs to know where things are but it's very fulfilling um so speaking of tradition oh sorry okay there you go so speaking of traditions do you guys watch football on Thanksgiving, my family does. What? I do not. My gosh, football. how am I friends with you? Because <laughs> we this are has friends. never come up before, okay? <laughs> and we're friends despite our differences. That's yes. true. Yes. I mean, to me, See, that's we're different. Like, like Pretty. what is Thanksgiving without football? Like, See, I, feel I like need Thanksgiving gets ruined by football. I'm like, oh, we're gonna go all play yes. football now. I'm like, I want to play cards. Yes, or something. yes. <laughs> like get off the TV. Yeah. No, I love that's I love watching football on Thanksgiving. So um, who's your team? Oh, Chargers. Chargers. But, but even though they dish us, Aren't they here? Huh? I, They're not here? Oh, this no, is painful. Yeah, it's a sore subject. They, like, broke my heart. My dad was, like, die-hard Chargers fan, had season tickets the same seats for 31 years. Mm-hmm. Like, the longest, the only thing he's been committed to for that long, you know? <laughs> so, um, the last Thanksgiving I spent with him, the Chargers were playing on Thanksgiving, and I went and watched it with them. And so, Aww. yeah, of course they broke my heart when... They left San Diego. It's been a little rough ever since. So does San Diego not have a team now? No. No. Oh, you live here. How do you not know this? It's just like football. Yeah. I don't like football. My cousin actually, like, even, like, works with, like, football players and, like, the NFL. and. When's the last time you all caught up then? Can they get us tickets? (laughs) (laughs) Let's go. No, she does this really cool thing uh, for, like, cooking and and wine and, like, whatever. But, yeah, it's it's called the Wine and football? and food, yeah. It's called the culinary kickoff, and, like, they do it right before. I always like Super Bowl parties for that exact reason. Yeah, she brought me to this thing. It was, like, the MLB something, and I, like, got there. I'm like, so what's MLB? Major. Like, that's Major League Baseball. baseball. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm, like, well, I'm, not, I'm just not a sports <laughs> person talking about football. in general. <laughs> well, I was saying. basketball, but. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Your she, eyebrows look real good today. I watched this YouTube, um, this chick. Her name's, like, Kristen something. <laughs> And she, like, talked about how to do her eyebrows. And I was like, well, maybe I'll check this bitch out. <laughs> you really watched her YouTube? Yes! <laughs> she was saying she was searching for an eyebrow video the other day and mine Hers popped, popped up. up. I'm like, oh well, I gosh. love her brows. And then, oh, thank you. Yeah, so. You could have just had her teach you in person. <laughs> when do we have time for that? I actually True. appreciate when friends, like, watch my videos and give them a thumbs up. Like, I, I have this one friend that I love to death, but everything that I've covered in a video, she'll text me about, like, my boobs. She's like, don't can you do tell that. me everything? Like, what? I'm like, can you just watch the fucking video? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I love you, but, like, I could use another watch. But yes. I sent her a voice text. I mean, she wanted the, she wanted of the cliff notes version i get it but i'm like a boob job is a big thing like i highly suggest you watch that video because i covered like everything i wish i would have known like in that video but instead right. she wants me to like well usually or... <laughs> when we make a video or do a video or something it's because number one we're trying to build our social media right right number two we don't want to talk about it anymore <laughs> people ask you <laughs> repeatedly how do i be how do i curl my hair how do i do my eyebrows it's like here 
So I spent a lot of time on this video. Yes. You can watch it. It's yes. packaged nicely for you. The pretty it's little got bow. Music. <laughs> there you go. So that's yeah. kind of like the holidays because it's like you have to. People want to know what's new in your life, what's current, those family members that haven't yeah. seen you, and then you have to, like, tell the stories, like, over and over and over and over again, and you're like, just go to Yeah, No, I Know. There you go. <laughs> Still listen to our podcast. My mom the other day told me, because I haven't seen her in, like, a couple weeks, she's like, oh, yeah, I was watching your podcast. Oh, yeah, you, you <laughs> talked about that, like, recently. You were like, I bet my mom watches, like, every single she did. one. She did. She did. She was, like, telling Aww. me, she's like, so I watched your spooky one. I'm like... <gasps> Yeah, she's like, that, that, I did turn that one. I'm like, yeah, probably. <laughs> My mom literally today, I was talking to her on the phone when I was getting ready to come over here, and um, she was like, oh, so what are you filming, like, like episode two? And I was like, okay, you're fucking Thanks, fired, mom. mom. <laughs> like, no, we're filming like nine or eight or something like yeah. that. Like, <laughs> this Oh, I said to my mom, like, I was like, I don't even know if I want you listening to it. She's like, Brooklyn, I wouldn't even know where to begin to listen to a podcast. Where do you listen to this? So I don't have to worry about my mom yeah. listening. Well, I have a lot of people, too, that keep saying that they go to YouTube to find our stuff and they can't find it so like just to like huh. say like you guys need to go to Kristen leanne's youtube even if they type in yeah no i know though it should show up oh. like, I'll, I'll try it right now because mm -hmm. it's literally in all the um if i knew my phone password here we go <laughs> um okay so yes. while you're doing that yep. what's your favorite thanksgiving pie Ew, pie what <laughs> i think pumpkin see yeah, it's the first pumpkin. thing that pops up Oh, oh well, cool. then I don't know how to help you people. Look, it's the <laughs> second and third and fourth and all that, too. You people. Yeah. <laughs> I just got invited to a Halloween party, no big deal. <sighs> By the time so you guys are popular. watching this, listening. Um, <laughs> it's like the only one I've ever been invited to. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> um, okay, so pie. You don't like pie at all? I, yeah. only like, I don't like sweets. I only kind of like, like pumpkin pie. Yeah. Same. Yeah. yeah, I don't like pumpkin drinks. I don't um, like pumpkin, like, anything, oh. but I like pumpkin pie. Oh, I'm oh. a basic B. Give me, I a know. Give me a PSL, baby. PSL? Pumpkin spice latte. Yeah. I used to oh, work I was going to say. I used to work at Starbucks, so. Okay. Say, wait. I was going to say, what are your favorite Starbucks <laughs> drinks? Because those are a thing. Yeah. Fall wait, favorite They're drinks. new. They what? have the pumpkin. Oh. They have the pumpkin cream, or pumpkin cold brew, cold foam. I don't freaking know what it's called, but it's so good. Mm. Well, but the sad thing is it hurts that. his Speaking little tummy. He, like, screams if I drink it, so I can't have it anymore. Oh, like your breast milk? Yeah. Wait, really? is it because of the milk? Yeah. Can you do, like, foam? substitute? Well, the whole point is, like, the cold foam is, like, the essence of the drink. Um, oh. And it's made, I think, with whole milk or heavy whipping cream, something Ooh. like that. And it hurts his little tummy. I would be running Aww. to the bathroom. I know. Anything pumpkin, I'm... Yeah. Oh, like pumpkin pancakes. That's supposed pancakes. to soothe your stomach, too. I'm, I'm going to, like, go to the original pancake house after this and get some, like, pumpkin pancakes. Pumpkin pancakes. Do they have uh, those year-round? Or just no. fall? I think it's Probably seasonal. not. Okay, we didn't finish on football. So what do you guys the do oh. for... Jen's like, oh, yeah. I'm hoping we're <laughs> Back moving to on football. from that. <laughs> uh, How do you drink, really drink feel? Drink your butter buzz drink. I know. I was going to say, but I don't like... I like uh, caramel brulee lattes. I don't oh, like now? caramel brulee. Oh. That's my holiday, that like, sounds, drink. That's Christmas. Caramel brulee. That's really sweet. Really I'd rather eat my like calories. Sweet. Like, give me some mac and cheese like I could do without the fancy drinks. <laughs> oh, see, I could drink all day. Well, drink those kinds Not of drinks. Not alcoholic. Yeah, I'd rather yes. drink my dinner. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd rather eat my dinner. Yeah, same. Um, <laughs> for football, so, like, okay, if you guys eat around 5, do you watch it before that or is it after? Or I don't know anything oh, about it. football's all day. There's a 10 o'clock <laughs> game, there's a 1 o'clock game, and then there's a 5 o'clock game. And if I'm not Absolutely mistaken... Not. Um, the Cowboys and who is it? And Detroit. I know they're two of the teams that always play on Thanksgiving, and I think usually one of them is like the five o'clock game. Cool. It's like the big one. Cool. <laughs> cool story, bro. Did you guys like record it and then eat and then come back to the TV and hit play or what? <laughs> no, it's usually it's just kind of on in the background and okay, like so you're while not... the women are cooking or like chit chatting, getting appetizers. The guys are like watching the game and. Just, I don't, just the sound of it, like, it just sounds like the holidays to me. I love the sound of football in the background. No, it's cool. I yeah. more music in the background. Like, if I don't have my record player going or, like, some sort of fall, like, music, like, it, that's yes. not, that doesn't work. Get-togethers without, like, music mm -hmm. for the holiday that we're celebrating doesn't work for me. Mm. It's, I gotta have the music. But if I just had football going on in the background, I, yeah, I don't think I could so funny. well. <laughs> do you guys have any like um, family recipes that have been passed down that you guys do? You do, I do. See, I just keep thinking no. of Christmas. Oh, <laughs> but we do meat pies. Yeah, um, I know that's weird. A my meat a meat pie. Wait, for Christmas or for for Christmas? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, he doesn't he, like that. That doesn't sound no. good to him either. No. <laughs> I know. Well, you bring me stuffed mushrooms, I'll bring you a meat pie. Okay, deal. We okay. can try. And you can try everything. Oh, I we should have, like... Oh, my gosh, that's right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Kristen. Yeah, <laughs> my... Oh, my stuffed mushrooms have... They're, like, stuffed with sausage. <laughs> oh, well, sorry. shit. I know. Okay, you can have some of my stuffed mushrooms, because they're delicious, and I'll also share the recipe with you, because I didn't make it up. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is beside the point, but in Oregon, my cousin showed me this place. Um, I think it's called Poppy, and this is the one mushroom I've had that I was obsessed with, and it was, like, a burger. Um, it's oh, a yeah. really cute place. Like Portobello. Huh? I don't even know, but... I, like, I want to order it. I don't even know how to get it here, but it was amazing. It's probably a portobello burger. So yeah. good. Well, one day, th- if we ever go to Oregon, we're meeting up with Aaron, we're going to this place, because you would die. It was yeah. so good. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, so one of the things I love the most is, like, we talked about the traditions, and so my grandpa, my mom's side, he passed away long before I was ever born. I think she was 13 when he passed away, and he had his stuffing recipe, and, um... My mom has always done that recipe, and then I recently did a Friendsgiving and used the same recipe. That was my grandfather's, and I remember, like, doing it and getting kind of emotional and just thinking, like, I'm his granddaughter who he never even got to meet, but I'm doing his recipe, you know? And so, (laughs) are you pulling Jenna's hair? Oh, he's trying to eat. What's he doing? He's, like, eating her arm. He's trying to eat my arm. hungry. Should I just pop him under here? Yeah. I know. Nothing's coming out. I'm sorry. Look at There's the mama. <laughs> Brooklyn's breastfeeding, so don't mind the moving head underneath her sweater. So one of my favorite things about Thanksgiving, like we were talking about the traditions and stuff, is um, my grandpa, who on my mom's side, he passed away, I think, when she was like 13. And so I mm-hmm. clearly never got to meet him. Um, he had his stuffing recipe that they would do every year and... Um, Side note, he puts water chestnuts in the stuffing. It's really... Water chestnuts are one of the most pointless, disgusting things on the face of the planet. <laughs> Anyways, sorry to just really shit all over your... <laughs> over my <laughs> grandfather's memory. Grandfather's recipe. I'm going to Thanks, hell. Kristen. Sorry. <laughs> That's sorry, okay. Gramps. No, but um, my mom would always do that stuffing recipe, and it's so good. <laughs> and um, one year, uh, last year, we were doing... Or two years ago, I think we were doing Friendsgiving, and I called my mom, got the recipe from her, and was, like, doing my grandfather's recipe. And, like, I got a little emotional, like, mm-hmm. in the kitchen because yeah. it's, like, this is my grandfather that I never met, but I'm still carrying down, like, his traditions and, you know. That's cool. So I love stuff like that for Thanksgiving. We that, don't have any like that. That and the whipped cream fights I'll carry for life. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Um, I, n- no offense to Grandpa or you, but I didn't think bread – uh, or stuffing could get worse, and then you mentioned putting water <laughs> chestnuts in it, and I was like, okay. Well, and we put sausage in it, too, so. The impossible has been done yet again. <laughs> yes, you know. <laughs> uh, bread pudding is like, okay, okay, so the, fir- the first Thanksgiving, I think, or the last Thanksgiving before COVID, I feel like I was disappointed at the sheer lack of um, options on the counter. Usually we have, I'm spoiled. Like usually we have like all of this, like all these, like everyone's making their, I feel like no one had time that day or something. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> everything came out of a can. And speaking of canned stuff, one of my other least favorite things is those stupid cranberries that pop oh, right out of a can. Gross. That are like jello-y. Well, I don't like those ones, but I do like cranberry sauce, but like oh, the one that has like oranges and like, yeah. Oranges, fruit doesn't go and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tangerines. And I love sweets it with takes my all meats. Kinds. Oh, the cranberry sauce is disgusting. Cranberry me. sauce and breading are my least favorite things to see on the table. I'm like, oh, I wish that was something else. Huh. What are your guys's? Oh, you love breading. I love the stuffing. Stuffing, that's what I'm And the turkey and then, like, the sweet potato casserole. So good. Oh, I okay. like green bean casserole. Oh, that's probably my favorite. Then I like my turkey with my cranberry sauce with oranges and all mm. that. Um, and okay. then mashed potatoes. Kristen, how mashed is it being a vegetarian for Thanksgiving? Because it's so much of the food is centered around meat. I just, I mean, a, a turkey. Wait, but I feel like turkey is the only meat, right? Ham. I don't eat the ham or any of the turkey or anything. I, I guess my There's family. A lot of sides. We've got a lot of sausage in our stuff. Yeah, no. And we I don't think, do too much of that. Yeah. Even like the green beans, my aunt puts like bacon in them. Ugh. <laughs> You know, that's the problem a yeah, lot of them I don't have We get bacon. down and dirty on Thanksgiving. Sometimes if there's, like, a lot of food and 
I don't realize that something has pork in it or something and I've already served it, I will eat it out of respect, mm-hmm. but I do not eat pork mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. or red meat or anything. Like, But there are usually so many sides that... Yeah. They, you don't have to worry about it. Like, I fill up on those alone. Mm-hmm. That's why that one Bread Thanksgiving alone. that there wasn't a whole lot of sides, I was disappointed because I was like, okay, well, I'm not eating the turkey. I'm not eating the ham. Um, so, yeah, I my favorite sides are, like, that. my aunt makes this, like, it's like a hash brown casserole, and it's mm. got, like, um, like uh, crispy cornflakes on top Ooh. and, like, a bunch of cheese. And, like, oh, my gosh, it's so good. That is really good. And then my grandma does one with poblano peppers and egg that she bakes that and so it's good. almost like a like scrambled a egg yeah it's almost kind of like a quiche without the like no there's no crust or anything and that one is like those are my favorites and mm-hmm. when those aren't at thanksgiving i'm disappointed but i don't want to make it myself because they make it so good <laughs> right it's never the same when you make it yourself well at least yeah. for me because it's like uh, cooking. Potatoes are gratin too. Basically anything with potatoes or corn, I'm in. Mm. Ooh, like, at Trader Joe's, little tip for y'all. They have this seasonal dish. I shouldn't tell everyone because it's so good and you're all gonna go <laughs> it's buy gonna be it. Gone. Um it's called cauliflower a gratin and it comes Ooh. out this time of year. It is stupid good. Like, I love cauliflower and cheese. Andy makes me like now. stock up on it, and we keep it in our freezer for probably way too long throughout the year. It is so. It's good. like a casserole, or um, it's a gratin, so it's kind of like potatoes gratin, but it's cauliflower gratin. Mm. So it's in a thing healthier. you just gotta scoop right. out. Yeah, it's like frozen. You just heat it up in the oven, and it's like crumbly and cheesy, and oh. Is it all year I'm just, round? I'm what? like dying right now. I'm like so hungry now. I just want <laughs> like all the Drink Thanksgiving food in my mouth. Oh I yeah, know. you have a lot of coffee to go. <laughs> um, actually, I love steamed cauliflower with cheddar cheese on top. I actually have cauliflower in my fridge right now and cheddar cheese because I plan on steaming it and putting cheddar cheese on so top. So you're not vegan, you're just vegetarian. Pescatarian. So you eat fish? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I hate fish though. There is this so um, like fake it. nacho cheese called Nomad Eats. It is the best. I, I love nacho cheese. I love melted cheese, but this surpasses it. Really? Yes. I've never it, had a vegan cheese. I put it on it everything. It's like 15 bucks a jar, but it's worth every penny. Wow. Mm-hmm. Don't go buy it all. Because <laughs> <laughs> we need some for Jenna. Yes. Um, yeah, no, I, I love cheese. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing for, you know, Thanksgiving if you are vegan and you want cheese. They have a nacho yeah. cheese and a mac and cheese that you can, like, mix with noodles or whatever. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I I couldn't do the vegan thing. I eat a lot of eggs and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's just, yeah, not not for me. But I do it every now and then just to clear out the system. I eat like mostly vegan. I would say because mm-hmm. like I don't eat like, I mean I shouldn't say mostly vegan. I don't eat like I don't drink milk. I drink yeah, flax either. milk. Like I mm-hmm. do a lot of substitutes. Yes. But I will not substitute cheese and eggs. Like I'm not letting those go. Like that's a big part of my diet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm just. That's just what I'm comfortable with and what I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, did we talk about all of our traditions and everything? I what else? So. What, what else? I, I think, I feel like we covered everything that we wanted to chat about. Yeah. Do you guys do, like, are you the kind of people that do, like, a little bit of whipped cream on your pumpkin pie or, like, smother it in whipped cream? Zero. Ice cream. Oh, ice cream, zero. I'm, like, I have a little pumpkin pie with my whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like whipped cream. It's not really my thing. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's kind of like cool whip. S- like sweet stuff. I just don't really. Wait, which one's which one's the one that comes in the tub? Cool whip. Cool whip. I like that. Mm. I should have brought some whipped cream to make our Thanksgiving tradition start here. Oh yeah. Just spray some whipped cream on you. I was bitches. gonna say get it all over this couch. <laughs> get it all over Jensen. Whipped cream fight. <laughs> now that would get a lot of views. Oh man. We got a titty out. We're going to have whipped cream. Like, y'all should be there. It's yeah. going to be a good time. Uh, yeah. We're, we're building the portfolio for our fans only page. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently fans only is like rebranding. Yes, I saw that. My manager just asked me if I wanted to work with them. And I'm like, in what capacity? Like, what are they doing? How are they How are they rebranding? Because I'm not whipping any boobs out. Yeah. So do you know anything about it? Um, No, my husband just showed me like... Because we were looking it up because we were talking about it. I'm like, what is it? What is it called, number one? Fans only or only fans? I still, I can't remember. (laughs) (laughs) And then we stumbled across something on YouTube that was talking about um, how they are rebranding. And they're, like, telling everybody, like, you have this date to, like, close up all your accounts, I guess. So, yeah, Yeah, it's going to be PG now. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I think we covered pretty much anything, right? And... If you guys have any traditions that you want to or let us know. recipes that you have links oh, yeah, to. recipes. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I can't share mine. Sorry, y'all. What a hater. Yeah. <laughs> well, we hope you guys all have an amazing Thanksgiving. And from us to you. 
and your families. Happy Thanksgiving. Absolutely. Be safe. <laughs> Bye, guys.